has such an incredible scope of emotions and no matter how many times you return to it, there's always something new to discover. It's always been my dream, actually, to record the Elgar because it's one of the greatest masterpieces that we have. Of course, um, I never dared to dream that I could record this with Daniel Barenboim. I listened obsessively to the Jacqueline Dupré recordings, all of them. And I listened to that to that full-length performance with, with Barnbine conducting when she was 22 years old, in 1967. I, I think I listened to it every day when I was a kid. And then when I started to learn it, I realized that I would have to put those recordings away. I've worked on on this piece now actually over the past couple of years with Meister Barenboim, you know, sometimes spending hours at a time really going through every detail, every phrase. And um, well, of course, he has a million ideas and every idea he has is, is absolutely brilliant and you always want to do it, you know, to the maximum. He can, he can do that and, and at the same time not not impose in a way. So I, you never feel, I mean, I, I never felt stifled in any way. I just felt like I was, you know, I, I was just hungry for more really. If you think about when it was written right after the First World War, and also if you think Elgar's wife died very soon after it was written, and he didn't write anything for 14 years. It was really the last major work that he ever wrote. I, I, I sometimes feel that the, that the piece uh, is sort, sort of feels forced to close the door on an era that will never return, and how heartbreaking that really is. Mm -hmm. 